Donald Trump may strike a new tone on that stage you see tonight, but that has not stopped the Biden campaign from portraying him as a risky choice for America. And to make that case, they often turn to the former president's own words, which made us wonder how Donald Trump's biggest supporters, the folks right here at the Republican National Convention, would interpret his more controversial quotes. What we found was often not what we expected. Take a look. The one big code is, well, I'm going to be a dictator. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. So, in essence, what he's saying is, I'm going to make up some executive orders that are going to change the direction that we're going. For some Republicans, there are easy explanations. A massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles. So he's talking about the election fraud that he alleges yes. in even those found in the Constitution. He's talking about suspending the Constitution here, it sounds like. Well, it sounds like it, but I don't think it's going to be hard to implement. I don't think he's going to do it. He's a man, black letter law, not the spirit of. Others will admit he can be coarse. You know, this is a famous quote of his, for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. Well, I think that's a little bit, I think retribution's a little bit strong, but. A little bit strong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Marine. So he comes across very Marine-like in what he has to say. But what often alarms Democrats... You know, when they let, I think the real number is 15, 16 million people into our country, when they do that, we got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's Hasn't even been heard by some Republicans. He's poisoning the blood of America? The immigrants, they're poisoning the blood. The people who cross the border illegally. How should... An independent voter hear that from Donald Trump. So I really, I'm not really paying no attention. When he say fake news, I believe some of that's be fake news. You don't think he really said this? I didn't hear him personally. I mean, it's on YouTube. You can find a lot it. of things on YouTube. And then there are those who have heard the comments. There's a large of them of immigrants that are good people. I'm an immigrant myself, but the ones that are coming from the Middle East. They are terrorists. So poisoning so, the blood to you is a reference to Middle Eastern Yeah. For me, it's trying not to bring terrorists into America, defending freedom. What these Trump supporters take away. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That is often not what Democrats argue is being communicated. For example... It's going to be a bloodbath for the whole country. We've had a lot of violence coming out of the left. And so when he says that, he's very clear. You hear him talking about the left. He, it's going to be a bloodbath because they're not going to tolerate Trump being president anymore. In this election year, perhaps like all the others, so what matters that. most is not what's said. If this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. But who's saying it? I don't think you're going to have another election in this country if we don't win this election. What do you hear? A comment like that is absolutely the farthest thing from the truth. Well, but this is a this is a Donald Trump quote. This is what he said at a rally. And, and you know, this is something that the Democrats oh, will I use. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. No, I see. So how do you interpret this line from Donald Trump? I think he had a lot of concerns about the last election and especially whether or not all the results were accurate. And I think with that mindset, he made that statement wondering whether or not if this election were rigged, what would be the cause for future generations? When you first read that statement, I thought you were attributing it to President Biden. <laughs> yeah, well, and then when you tell me that it's Trump, doesn't that tell you a little bit about what's going on in this country today when we have both major party candidates making similar statements about the other? Well, I think it does, but not in quite the way he was referring there. I think, by the way, he was talking about uh, Joe Biden calling Donald Trump a threat to democracy. But I didn't expect to be quoting Brene Brown this morning, a, a prior <laughs> guest of our show. But a line from her actually came to me as I was having these conversations, which is, we think that we are rational beings that are sometimes emotional. But in fact, we are emotional beings who are only sometimes rational, rational. especially, it seems, with politics. Spot on. And it's not always the message, it's the messenger. All right, Tony, we appreciate you, man. Thank yeah, you so that much. was great. Tony, thanks so much.